<laughs> so hi everybody, my name is Simon. I'm uh, one of the co-founders and CEO of Envelio and we are working on the digital transformation of electricity grids. And actually the electricity grids are one crucial component if we really want to move forward with the energy transition. Because if we want to reach our climate objectives then we have millions of more distributed energy resources to integrate into the power system and also new loads are coming into the system like for example, char example charging points for electric vehicles. And that's definitely a big challenge um, also for many of the grid operators who are responsible for the grid infrastructure today because their processes and workflows come actually from a time uh, from a different time which was more focused towards large-scale power plants so they suffer from isolated inconsistent data silos in their legacy systems they have very time-consuming time manual processes that they have to work with uh, and also new smart grid technologies like for example energy storage or flexible grid management is not really considered in all of their processes. And that's where we as, as Envelio come in with our solution. Um, our solution, it's, sorry, it's not working, okay. Uh, our solution is called uh, Intelligent Grid Platform uh, and it's actually a software as a service solution for grid operators that helps them to digitize and automate their planning and operation processes in their everyday life. Uh, so our, we also call our solution a digital and automated grid operating system, which is a very modular overall platform. Um, and what makes us unique here are the underlying algorithm, like Julia pointed out in the introduction. Uh, our solution is based on the research results from five PhD theses that provide the baseline for what we are doing. And with our approach, we then start out with actually data quality so that we help to organize the data that is already there within the legacy systems. We bring it to a good level so that there's actually a good digital twin, a good digital model of what is going on in the networks. And uh, that is done with machine learning algorithms. And then on that baseline, we have a range of planning applications in, in the first degree that help to actually plan and optimize the grid and what it looks like in the future to integrate more renewables. And then we have a, a third part of the, of the platform, uh, IGP operation, with, which also provides uh, real-time insights. So here we are capable to process a lot of data in real-time so that we can actually create insights about what is, what is going on in the grids in real-time and act on, that, uh, on those insights. <clears throat> sorry, so the clicker is somehow not really responding so well. Oh, okay, so now it responded really quickly, sorry. All right, so, and just to show you that it's not just, uh, it's not just a product vision, but we are actually already working uh, with several grid operators, uh, as for example, uh, with one of the large ones in Germany, E.ON, one of the grid operators, EDIS. With them, we are speeding up new grid connections uh, that, that you have in the, in the network, so they're actually a process that is sometimes taking today up to several weeks to connect a new power plant, a PV power plant, or a new wind park to the network can actually be accelerated uh, to, to less than a minute with our solution uh, and they are already running this on their entire network and scaling up the solution to the entire network. One other example of what uh, our solution can do is uh, w in our work in a electri electrification and grid development project uh, in Bangladesh. So, uh, so uh, Trakti Engie is using our solution to actually create and, uh, and modernize the power network there. Um, okay. <laughs> to actually um, yeah, plan and modernize uh, the, the power network there so that actually uh, it can be established how it should be upgraded so that more people can have access to electricity. And uh, on that baseline, we earn money as a company with a business model based on two revenue streams. So the first part uh, is, is an onboarding project that we usually do with our customers where we help them to actually bring order into the data chaos so that provides the first benefit right away in the, in the onboarding phase. And then um, we have a software as a service fee for each of the analytics applications across the different domains in our platform uh, that, that runs on in the, in the longer term. Uh, as, a, as a company, we have been going since April of 2017. Uh, so when we were founded as a company, um, our technology baseline is coming from our, our research background at RWTH Aachen University, where we were working before with several grid operators and, and utility com companies already. And since we started the company, we have ramped up to now 34 people. We had a first financing round uh, last year, and um, mainly our growth was driven by, by customer growth. 
So we are working with quite a range of grid operators in Germany and Europe already. Uh, some of the largest one in ones in Germany are among the, our customers. So for example, Westlands of the Energy Group or EDIS of the E.ON Group. And actually the two of them are also past the pilot stage. So they have decided to roll up our solution to their entire network, which is already 15% of the, of the German networks. And yeah, based on that baseline uh, and, and the attraction in Germany, we are now looking to expand internationally. Uh, just last week, we made it into the Free Electrons cohort for 2019. It's a global energy startup accelerator with international utilities. And we also have our first international pilots contracted. And uh, yeah, so we, are, we will be working on that in the, in the coming months. So I'm really happy to exchange with uh, all of you on international business development opportunities. And we will also be raising our Series A in the second half of this year, so I'm also happy to discuss more about that. Thank you. Thank you.